Now we need to stop for a bit to talk about some technical terms here, a few. I said an avartana is one cycle of beats. Now what is the word for beats in Carnatic music? They are called, every beat is called a matra. So we would say Dhruva Tala has 14 matras or Adi Tala has 8 matras. Now there is another word matra. Actually there is another word called akshara which is also sometimes some people use the word akshara to refer to beats and the jury is still out on what um, I see there are two things here one is the number of beats one two three four and the other is how many divisions or units does each beat internally have. Now this is important when we come to some kinds of compositions. By default every beat is divided into four subunits as it were. So it is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. But sometimes it can be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. This is something we will see later. It is called Nadai or Gati. So uh, we have the number of beats on the one hand, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on and we have a certain number of subdivisions within each of these beats, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So some um, people prefer to use the word matra to refer to the beats and akshara to refer to the subdivisions within each beat and there are others who use these expressions in the reverse uh, with the reverse signification in the sense akshara is used to uh, refer to the number of beats and matra is used to refer to the number of subdivisions but we will use the word matra to refer to the beats because the word akshara itself means that which cannot be uh, destroyed. So in a sense akshara is the smallest unit in the tala. If you say it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, those each of them is an akshara. There is the matra 1, 2, these are further subdivided into aksharas. So we have the concept of avartana which is essentially a cycle of matras, a certain number of matras which is repeated cyclically and each matra internally has a uh, further subdivision into a certain number of units and those units are called akshara. Now when I performed either an aditala or Rupakatala or uh, Dhruvatala. Now there are only certain movements that we perform while uh, performing the Tala. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So these 8 beats in the Adi Tala are performed only this way. No other hand gestures. I mean, while performing artists can uh, vary it here and there but the aditala is performed like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have one kind of action that is beating, beating on the thigh or beating on the hand and we have another kind of action which is uh, throwing the palm aside. So bro, this is uh, this is called Tala Kriya, the action. What are the actions that are involved in performing a Tala? So this is called Kriya and they are of two kinds, 
शब्द और सशब्द क्रिया एंड निशब्द क्रिया सशब्द इज दैट विच मेक्स साउंड दिस इज तट और घात दिस इज अ सशब्द क्रिया एंड निशब्द इज वेन वी थ्रो द पाम असाइड अप टर्ड दैट इज अ निशब्द क्रिया now using these such we also have counting the finger fingers so using all these any tala is performed now let us talk of the tala angas so the tala angas or parts of a tala are um laghu those that are used actually are laghu drutam and anudrutam laghu is beating the hand and counting the fingers it could be 3 or it could be you could be counting 3 fingers or you could be counting four fingers we will go into that a little uh, later but laghu is essentially beating the hand and counting the fingers drutam is beating and throwing the palm aside so it is always has a count of 2 anudrutam is a simple beat a simple beat is called anudrutam and so it always has a value of 1 the dhruva talam that i just performed is is part of a a tala system which is at least 500 years old it's called suladi sapta tala now sapta refers to seven suladi is this is actually suladi is actually a compositional form that um, originated in the context in, in karnataka and uh, purandara dasa in the 15th and 16th century he is credited with incorporating the sula de sapta tala into the into carnatic music now how how what is the sula de sapta tala we will see this just now in fact uh, a beginner is very quickly introduced to this this uh, suladi sapta talas these are dhruva which is what you saw just now the composition that i sang of 14 matras dhruva then you have matya rupaka triputa jamba atta taala ek taala these are the seven taalas that are referred to as a suladi sapta taala and we just saw that the three angas or three parts of a tala are laghu druta and anudruta and these seven are a combination of this laghu druta and anudruta now laghu is usually indicated as it is this the symbol for laghu is one druta is zero and anudruta is this now in dhruva tala has a structure of one laghu 
followed by a dhruta, followed by another laghu and then another laghu. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 laghu, 1, 2, 1 dhrutam, another laghu and yet another laghu. This is the structure or the anga, angas of dhruva thala. Matya thala is one lagu followed by a druta and then followed by a another lagu. Rupaka tala is the only tala that does not start with a lagu, starts with the drutam instead. One drutam followed by a lagu. Triputa tala 1, 0, 0. And if you will think about this, it is this is what is Adi tala. If you count 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, that is lagu, one drutam, another drutam. So, adi thala is a kind of, it is a form of triputa thala. Jampa thala is the only thala that uses this other anga, that is anudruta, it is one lagu, one anudruta and one drutam. Atta thala is one, two lagus followed by two drutams. Eka thala is just a lagu. So, these are the saptatalas and when we speak of laghu, we say beating the hand and counting the fingers beginning with the little finger. But how many do we count? So far I have only shown, I have only performed compositions in which the tala is such that I have counted three fingers. So, all together it is one, two, three, four, including the Tattu or the ghata, the laghu. The laghu is a beat followed by counting of fingers. If you beat and count three fingers, you have a laghu of the count of four. You can also have one, two, three, four, five, or you could have one, two, three, or you could have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or you could have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now these are the 5 what are called jatis. So a laghu laghu could be a count of 4, 3, 4, 5, 7 or 9. Though usually we, it is always, we say 4 first and then 3, that is how it is. And these are what are called jatis. So 4, when you have a count of 4, this is called chatushra jati, this is called chatushra jati, this is called tishra jati. This is called Khanda Jati, this is called Mishra Jati, this is called Sankirna Jati. Now this concept of five Jatis is, is um, commonly used um, in all um, performing arts, whether it is music or dance or it is uh, percussion. These five jatis, Chatushta, Tishta, Khanda, Mishta, Sankirna. So, depending on what jati you take, so suppose this, let us just take Dhruva Thala or an easier Thala, let us take Triputa Thala, which is what is something we are, com uh, we are familiar with. So, if this Triputa Thala, we say it is chatushra jati. So, the laghu will have a value of 4 counts. So, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 which is what is aditara and you have a cycle of 8 beats. But suppose the laghu is tishra jati. So, the laghu has a count of 3. So, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
it will have a count of, it will be a cycle of 7 beats. Suppose the lagu is khanda jati, that is it has 5 counts. So, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It is a cycle of 9 beats and so on. So, Mishra jati will be 7 plus 2 plus 2, that is 11. Sankirna jati will be 9 plus 2 plus 2, that is 13. So, we have the Suladi Saptataila and we have the 5 jatis. These are the jatis. And each of these Suladi Saptatalas, Dhruva, Matya, Rupaka, etc., each of them can be uh, combined with any of these jatis. So, again to take Triputa Tala, as I just mentioned, we can have Chatushra Jati Triputa Tala or Tishra Jati Triputa Tala or Khanda Jati, etc. So, also with Dhruva, we can have 5. Matya we have 5, Rupaka 5, Jampa and so on. So, we have 7 into 5, 35 Talas under the Suladi Sapta Tala scheme and this is only the first level. Just to give you a, a quick idea of what the next level is. I will refer back to something that we spoke about some time ago. That is the concept of Akshara and Matra. Just as the um, Laghu, which is beating and counting, can be either Chatushra or Tishra or Khanda, etc. So, also each Matra, each beat of the uh, Tala, whether it is a tattu or whether it is counting or whether it is a vich or it is just an anudritam or drutam whatever it is every beat of the tala cycle has subdivisions within it and that will be always an equal number. So, you will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So, within a tala cycle the subdivisions of each beat will be the same, the same number of subdivisions. Each matra of a tala cycle will have the same number of aksharas. But this akshara, this number again could be either 4 or 3 or 7 or 5 or 9. So, Adi Talam could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. Or it could be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Or it could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, so essentially what we are doing is each of these, let us take Again, Triputa Tala. Triputa Tala, there are five jatis of it possible, five possible jatis Chatushta, Tishta, Mishta, Khanda, and Sankirana. Now, within each of these, four here means the number, the count of laghu. So, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, that is what it means. But given that we have Chatushra Jati Triputa Thala, we can further have a subdivision of again 5, what is called Nadai or Gati. So, you could have the basic Adi Thala or Chatushra Jati Triputa Thala is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, this is called Chatushra Nada or the Chatushra Gati Chatushra Jati Triputa Thala. Now, you have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. This is again Chatushra Jati Triputa Thala, but 
तिष्ठ गति और तिष्ठ नड़न नो व्हाट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ ऑल दिस आई मीन एंड इट कैन गो ऑन इट इट गो ऑन फॉर ऑल द फाइव जातीज सो गिवन ईच सोला जी सप्त ताला देर आर फाइव जातीज पॉसिबल एंड फॉर ईच ऑफ द फाइव जातीज फाइव नड़ाइज आर पॉसिबल सो यू हैव थर्टी फाइव इंटू फाइव विच इज वन सेवेंटी फाइव वन सेवेंटी फाइव ताड़ाज आर पॉसिबल विद इन द सोल आदि सप्त ताड़ा स्केल नाउ द वॉट इज द म्यूजिकल सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ इट इज नॉट जस्ट मैथमेटिक्स वॉट इज द डिफरेंस वेदर इट इज तिष्ट नडे और चतुष्ट नडे द गेट ऑफ द सॉन्ग विल बी लाइक दैट so here the gate is like this one two three one two three bidana varali chi bro bumuni none sano ni te bidana varali chi bro nadite di doru var pa Ne ga da troge, ginio ne 